Thanks for joining us. I'm John Garlock. An overnight fire in downtown Oskaloosa destroyed two businesses. KTVO's Alex Wilson is standing by live right now with more details. Thanks, John. An early morning fire on the square in Oskaloosa was likely arson. The Oskaloosa Fire Department was called to 208 First Avenue East just after 2 Monday morning for a report of flames shooting out the backside of a building. The crews got here, we got, we, they got inside, got a knockdown on it, but unfortunately it got up into the uh, false ceiling and up into the roof line area. Five area fire departments were called in for assistance. The Pella Fire Department provided its aerial truck for the attack on the blaze. Chief Neff said it appears the fire was started on the second floor. That floor is occupied by Evolution, a mental health provider specializing in family and marriage counseling. The location of the building and the fire made it difficult for the crews to fight. Just the general nature of having to be on a second story and, and trying to keep it from, from extending to other buildings. If it's on an end, that's one thing. Now you've got an open spot when it's in the middle of two structures you're really trying to work hard crews are working extremely hard on each side of it along with the building that, that's involved the first floor business swims sports and awards was heavily damaged by smoke and water neighboring businesses have light smoke and water damage residents living next to where the fire originated evacuated safely according to chief neff the fire was intentionally set Authorities say a suspect walked inside the Mahaska County Law Center with burns on their arms and torso. Crews were able to get the fire under control around 7 Monday morning, and the state fire marshal's office was called in to investigate. The building that the fire originated in, I would say, is probably a total loss simply because the roof uh, went, and I know there's going to be uh, uh, heat damage to the, to the brick and mortar uh, joints. So. You know, chances are it's probably a total loss. Authorities haven't put a dollar figure on the damage to the buildings. At this hour, the fire marshal's investigation is ongoing, and we don't have any word on the condition of the injured suspect or when he might be charged. John, back to you.